I am impressed that he made this beautiful dish in that tiny little kitchen as if we were swaying in that boat. If you've watched the Greek episode of Taste the Nation season two, you will recognize this fisherman stew. I remember Tazo using a shit ton of olive oil, which I was like, oh my God. Sometimes doing these recipes, especially when you're testing for a book, is like being a food detective. And sometimes I won't use the same ingredients that they use because they don't have it or because I think something's more accessible to people who are outside that community. But in the end, you just want to come as close as you can to the taste memory of what it was like to eat that dish with that person. Tazo made me eat fish lips in that very tiny kitchen on that very tiny boat. But I have to tell you that that tasted delicious. So these onions have softened and they're getting a little translucent. So at this point, I'm gonna add my carrots, my celery, and stir that around. So now what I'm doing is adding just four cups of water, and I'm adding some peeled potatoes. And we just wanna let this cook for about 20 minutes until the potatoes are done. You should taste the broth, See if it needs a pinch of salt. Perfect. You're gonna gently drop in. This is two pounds of fish. Parsley, half a cup of lemon juice. And I'm gonna gently swirl that around so that I don't break that fish up. And then you wanna garnish with some lemon zest. And you can also drizzle a little bit of olive oil over the top. Okay, let's try this family soup. It's beautiful. It's very lemony and light. The fish is literally falling apart. Reminds me of Tazo and how easy he made it look. And I'm happy to know that it is actually that easy. So there's my Greek fisherman's dude.